Czechoslovakia. On 14th of March 1939, Hitler occupied the Czech Republic and established a protectorate here, subordinate to the Third Reich. The Nazis planned to completely clear the Czech Republic of the local population and resettle the Germans here. The Red Army fought to liberate Czechoslovakia for 246 days. In 1945, the Soviet forces conducted four offensive operations. In Prague and the suburbs, Germany employed a large force of the Army Group Center, about one million soldiers, 10,000 guns, 1,000 aircraft, and about 2,000 tanks. Two million Soviet soldiers took part in the liberation of Prague. On the 9th of May, 1945, the Red Army completely cleared the capital of Czechoslovakia of the invaders. All the liberated Prague came out to greet the Soviet soldiers. They were pelted with flowers, lifted and rocked in arms. The Soviet Union played a crucial role in liberating all of Czechoslovakia from Nazism, losing nearly 140,000 of its soldiers. Immediately after the end of the war, the USSR began to provide Czechoslovakia with comprehensive aid for the restoration of the national economy. 9,000 tons of bread were allocated to the population of Prague. The Soviet government supplied Czechoslovakia with large quantities of industrial raw materials, iron ore, non-ferrous metals, petroleum products and cotton, helping to establish peaceful life in the country. The Czech Republic thanked it for saving it from Nazism in a peculiar way. In April 2020, the monument to Marshal Ivan Kornev was demolished. In the streets of Prague and other cities, people who speak Russian are threatened with murder. Russian students are not allowed to enter Czech universities. And supporting Russia in local social media will be treated as a criminal offense. Violators can face from six months to three years in prison.